In order to manipulate any graphic in Lightburn, it must first be selected, making the selection tools fundamental to any workflow. Lightburn includes several tools to help you select just the objects you need at any given moment. In this video, we'll cover the basics of selecting graphics in Lightburn, along with other useful options that even advanced users may not know about. Starting from square one, the selection tool must be active in order to select objects in your workspace. The selection tool is active by default, but if you have another tool active, you can reactivate it by clicking the selection icon in the toolbar or pressing the escape key. With the selection tool active, you can click objects to select them. Whenever you select an object in your workspace, it becomes active. You can confirm it's active by the solid outline turning into an animated pattern. If the selected object is ungrouped, the animated pattern displays simple dashes. However, if the selection is grouped, the pattern will be made of both dots and dashes. Grouped objects in Lightburn are treated as a single unit, ensuring they keep their relative position and size as you move them around. When you make a selection, edit handles will appear around the selected objects. Clicking and dragging these lets you position, resize, skew, and rotate them. Different toolbar options become available based on what your selection contains. For example, when text objects are selected, the text options toolbar is enabled. And when multiple closed shapes are selected, the Boolean modifiers are available. Holding down shift and clicking on an object adds it to your selection. Holding control and shift and clicking on an object removes it from your selection. Alternatively, control and clicking toggles selection status. Clicking to select or deselect a single object that's part of a group does the same for all objects it's grouped with. To group objects in your workspace, select them to make them active and click the group button in the top toolbar. To ungroup, click on the ungroup button. Clicking the gear icon in the top toolbar opens the Lightburn settings window. Here you can adjust the click selection tolerance which controls how close your cursor must be to an object to select or deselect it when you click. Setting a larger tolerance means your cursor doesn't have to be as close to an object when you click to select or deselect it. The box selection options are very useful functions for quickly selecting multiple objects at once. Clicking in your workspace and dragging to the right displays a red rectangle representing enclosing selection. When you release your mouse, all objects that are fully enclosed within that rectangle are selected. Clicking and dragging to the left displays a green rectangle for crossing selection. Unlike the enclosing selection, when you release your mouse, any objects that are crossed by the selection box at all, along with any objects enclosed within, are selected. Grouped objects are treated as single units for both box selection options. To select a group with enclosing selection, all objects in the group must be enclosed. And if any object in a group is crossed by the crossing selection, the entire group will be selected. Crossing and enclosing box selection can be combined with the same keyboard modifiers used for click selection to add, remove, or toggle selection status. To clear out of your selection, click in an empty space in your workspace or press the escape key on your keyboard. There are additional selection options available in the Edit drop-down menu. Select All selects all graphics in your workspace. Invert Selection selects all objects that aren't already active and deselects all objects that are. Select Open Shapes and select Open Shape Set to Fill identify open shapes in your workspace. This is important as some features in Lightburn require closed shapes. We covered open versus closed shapes in detail in a recent video that will be linked in the description. Select all shapes in current layer selects all objects on the same layer as the currently selected shape or the active layer in the cuts and layers window. Holding down the shift key and clicking on a layer in the cuts and layers window also selects all shapes on that layer. Select contain shapes selects all objects inside of the currently selected shape. The selected shape must be closed or the option will be grayed out. If you have a complex design with many shapes that don't have a pre-existing containing shape, using the Draw Lines tool to create a new perimeter is a great way to quickly select them using Select Contain Shapes. 
Lastly, in the Tools drop-down menu, we have the Select Shapes Smaller Than Selected tool. To use this, you must have an object selected in your workspace. Clicking on this will select all objects in your workspace that are smaller than your selected object. This is very helpful for cleaning up messy designs that might have imported with small unwanted artifacts or ones that contain more detail than your laser can output. Rather than manually selecting and deleting, decide on a minimum shape size you want and use this function to select and then delete anything smaller. Knowing the selection tools available and when to use them will greatly increase your efficiency, getting you from idea to finished product in as few steps as possible. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos on Mastering Lightburn.